Because that nothing is your soul. And some of us are totally empty. A few months ago, I was the most depressed in my life. Some of y'all know. So I ain't just speaking just to tell y'all some motivational crap. I was the most depressed in my life. And I'm still fighting. Right? Still fighting. Be totally transparent. I'm still fighting. And at the highest of my life to the world, right? Successful, everything, whatever. The freedom that the world thinks is the right freedom. And none of that can heal my soul. None of it. And so me knowing was like, man, there's more to, to life than what this world is programming us to think. And not saying you can't have external things, guys. Like, I'm not telling you to live as a caveman or a cave woman, but just don't allow your value to be determined by what you have, but allow your value to be determined by what's in your soul. And how I continue to grow out my depression and break free from the lowest time of my life, it was just saying thank you. That's it. Those two words changed it. Because I know that I can't understand what's happening. But I can still be thankful and grateful for everything that's happening because I know it's for the goodness of my life. God's plan is sometimes hard to understand. But you got to trust it anyways. For he knows what's in store for you. He knows the ultimate purpose of your life. If you can just trust in the Lord with all thy heart, truly trust him. Some of us, we say that, but we only trust him when times are going good. We only trust him when we get what we want. But if you truly trust him through it all, and you remember that he loves you and that he cares, as that song says, he'll never put more in you than you can bear. And I truly believe that. And so in my darkest season of my life, I had to trust God. Even when I didn't see the light in the tunnel. You know what? That light in the tunnel never showed up. But God showed me that I had the power to become the light. Because he that is in me is greater than anything that is in this world. And that transformed my life. So I hope today's message really can help you. You know, I look in the social media world and it's a lot of lies that were being sold. It's not freedom if you still aren't free. Some of us have made mistakes. I know I have. Some of us are imperfect. I know I am. Some of us battle silent battles daily. I know I do. And we still say thank you. Because we know that this life Gives us, gives us a new beginning every single day. I pray that chain is broken in your life. Some of us were carrying our mistakes from yesterday, our pain from yesterday, and we're bringing it into today. You can't change yesterday. And I know y'all know that's common sense, but a lot of us don't apply that. You can't change yesterday. And we allow our worries of yesterday to become today's troubles. And then we allow that domino effect to keep happening over and over and over and over in our life. Instead of saying, you know what? 
Thank you for everything that I've been through. But today is a new beginning. And today I choose. And only you know what you need to choose. But for me today, I chose peace. I chose gratefulness today. Because I know there's a lot of things that I can't control, but I can control my attitude. I can control my gratefulness and I control my appreciation for what God has done for my life. And so I pray whatever chain that's chaining you to whatever is is broken. And I pray that you stop evaluating your life based on what you have or don't have. I pray that you stop allowing your worth to be determined by external things. I pray that you see how beautiful you truly are. You're a creation from the creator, your masterpiece. And sometimes that masterpiece, all the time that masterpiece is not made up of perfect pieces. It doesn't make a masterpiece. A masterpiece has perfection, it has mistakes, it has flaws, it has beauty, but collectively, it creates something that's beautiful. And that's you. You're perfectly flawed. You're perfectly imperfect. And when you stop judging yourself so damn much, and start loving yourself so damn much, your life changes. When's the last time you looked in the mirror and said, I love you? When's the last time you looked in the mirror and you said, I love you? You know, we can tell people we love them all day. We can tell people we proud of them all day. How much would your life change if you said these three things? I'm proud of you. I love you. Thank you. How much would your life change if you started your day by looking in the mirror and ending your day by looking in the mirror and saying, I'm proud of you. I love you. And thank you. Some of us won't do that because we think that that's <laughs> that's too simple. Right, Trent, you don't understand my problem. That's too simple. That's the problem. You don't realize the simplest things are not the most important things. They're everything. Your life would change in the next 60 days, 30 days, the next week, if you started your day and ended your day with those three words.